During the summer months, the margins of many lakes and reservoirs are full of small beetle-like insects called corixids. With its pearly body and bright red head, the red-headed corixa imitates this particular insect, one that is often taken by the trout in very large numbers. If the fly is going to be weighted, the first step is to run on touching turns of fine lead wire. So starting close to the bend, wind them up along the shank towards the eye. That done, push them together and just uh, break off the loose ends. The next step then is to run the tying thread on just behind the eye. Push those turns of lead wire forward and then without removing the waist end of the thread, carry the thread over the top of the lead wire to secure it in place. That done, take the thread to the bend and simply trim off that loose end. The back comprises a slip of hen pheasant center tail feather. So we tear a few fibers from the quill then take the scissors and trim the points square. That done, take the slip up, offer it up to the hook and just catch it in place at the bend in that little gap between the bend and the end of the lead wire. Now the body is tan hair's fur mixed with an equal proportion of pearl light bright which is then sort of blended together it just sort of uh, tones down the effect. That done, we offer it up to the tying thread and just dub it on. Keep on twisting until the tapered rope's been formed and then start to wind it on right from the bend. Keep on winding the fur in close turns until it reaches the front of the lead wire. Remember though to leave enough of a gap to accommodate both the hackle and the head. The next step is to prepare the hackle, which in this case is a small brown partridge hackle. Now to prepare it, stroke the fibres back away from the tip and then trim the tip to a short stub. That done, offer the feather up to the hook and catch it in place just in front of the body with a couple of thread turns. With the hackle caught in, take hold of the stem and then stroke the fibres back and then begin to wind it. Apply a couple of turns and then secure the stem with a couple of thread turns. Take the scissors and trim off the waist end. With the hackle in place, stroke back any wayward fibres away from the eye. Then draw the hen pheasant tail fibres over the top and just catch them in with a turn of thread. Add further tight thread wraps to lock it in place. Then lift up the fibres of pheasant tail and draw off the waist. Put a half hitch in the thread just to lock it in place and then trim off the loose end. That done, take some red tying thread, run that on at the eye, again trimming off that waist end and then build a pronounced colourful head which again cast off with a whip finish before trimming off that loose end. To complete the fly simply apply a little drop of clear varnish to the head and to the back. And that's it complete, the red-headed Corixa.